Welcome to JVC Kenwood's YouTube channel. Today, we will be introducing a new line of digital DMR products. Included are the TKD240 D340 portable radios, the TKD740 D840 mobile radios, and the TKR D710 D810 repeaters, which will operate with conventional IP networks. Kenwood has long provided NextEdge digital radios to the land mobile radio market, and now a new category of digital radios, DMR, joins the team. Whereas NextEdge uses FDMA, DMR uses TDMA. This means that Kenwood can now offer customers an even wider range of products. Let's compare the advantages of both TDMA and FDMA, which will allow you to understand which radios better suit your needs. These radios are specified for two-slot time division multiple access, or TDMA, operation with TDMA licensed digital conventional systems, otherwise known as DMR Tier 2. Although we are new to DMR, these radios benefit from the expertise we have gained developing NextEdge, particularly advanced vocoding technology, high immunity to noise, and high quality audio reproduction. DMR radios are specified for two-slot TDMA operation and 12.5 kHz channels. This is a standard adopted by ETSI, the European Telecommunications Standards Institute. With DMR, it is possible to obtain two talk paths within an analog 12.5 kHz bandwidth, thus doubling the capacity. Let's go over the respective advantages of DMR and NXDN to get a grasp of the general differences between the two standards. These diagrams show the difference in channel width and how each is configured. Using DMR, users will benefit because 1. When migrating from analog to digital, DMR is a cost-effective solution that uses existing infrastructure, and 2. It is energy efficient, resulting in longer battery life. NXDM models like the NextEdge, on the other hand, are specified for FDMA, a pure 6.25 kHz very narrow bandwidth protocol. Its advantages are 1. Wider coverage by as much as 15% when compared to digital 12.5 kHz bandwidth operation, and 2. Its stability and simplicity, which enable easy configuration of extensive multi-site trunking systems. As mentioned earlier, DMR makes it possible to double the capacity of existing 12.5 kHz equipment. Greater spectrum efficiency plus coverage that is more than double that of analog can be achieved. Digital DMR functions include voice services, data services, and remote monitoring. These versatile DMR radios can operate in both digital and FM analog modes, switching automatically as needed. Interoperability with legacy analog radios allows organizations to migrate to full digital at their own pace. The mode can be activated by writing FPU data to the radio. When doing so, the QT-DQT settings must be set to channel for mixed mode. What's unique about DMR is that it supports up to two simultaneous direct mode subscriber calls in a 12.5 kHz channel without requiring a base station or repeater. Another unique advantage of DMR is call interruption. When a radio is on a voice call but interrupted by another radio in an emergency, or whenever a user needs to interrupt a call, the first voice call is cut off and the radio answers the interrupting call. Call interruption can be used in both direct and repeater modes while encoding or decoding, as long as the color codes match on the new TKD40 series radios. Unique to the Kenwood DMR lineup is the fact that, whereas rival systems only allow decoding from a base station, Kenwood can decode from both base station and subscriber unit. The LED indicator can be customized to provide useful status information. The colors are green, red, and amber LEDs. A radio's most important quality is clarity, being able to hear loud and clear what the other party is saying. These portables deliver just that. In addition to the 1 watt, 4 watt portable mobile audio output power, the AMBE Plus 2 vocoder technology accurately replicates natural human speech nuances for superior voice quality, even with high levels of ambient noise. Voice announcement can confirm the channel number, so there is no need to look at the display. The Open Voice Channel Mode, OVCM, enables unmuting the speaker when receiving a call, even if the target ID of the call is unmatched. OVCM can be switched on or off. However, in most cases, it is set to on by the radio administrator. Additionally, 
Use of the OVCM supplementary service allows third-party users to monitor and participate in an existing individual or group call. The radio is very compact, just 1.33 inches or 3.37 centimeters thick, even when fitted with a battery, making it one of the slimmest DMR models on the market. Battery life is always important for radio users. In spite of the compact design, this DMR portable radio offers long operation of up to 17 hours in digital mode when used with a lithium-ion rechargeable battery. One thing to note is that regardless of battery type, operating hours are typically longer in digital mode. Although battery life may vary depending on how the equipment is used, it is clear that using DMR or Nexedge radios in digital mode is one way to enjoy longer battery life. Radios are often used in harsh environments. To make sure the radio can withstand various operating conditions, both portable and mobile DMR radios conform to MIL standards, CDEFG, for ruggedness, and are rated IP5455 portables, or IP54 mobiles, for water and dust intrusion. The large two-digit LED display provides a clear indication of which channel is being used, and the brightness level can be adjusted high or low to suit the time of day and ambient light conditions. The front panel also features nine programmable function keys for enhanced operating ease. Last but not least is the DMR repeater system. Once connected to a KTI-5 interface box with KPG-1010 DMR IP network software installed, the repeater supports multi-site and AIS application interface standard compliant IP console connections. In conclusion, we hope that this presentation was helpful in introducing our new DMR line, noting the differences between DMR and Nexage, and understanding the many features included with our DMR radios. We appreciate your continued business, and we'll see you soon.